Hi, my name is Samantha Rank, and I wanted to talk to you today about communication. Communication is one of the most common things that puts a strain on relationships. And a lot of times communication is one of the primary things that could be cleared up by asking a few questions. So I wanted to present a little bit of information on how to have a hard conversation. The first thing is, just remember that showing up imperfectly is better than not showing up at all. We have a tendency in, in life to avoid very hard things, things that cause us a lot of discomfort. And avoiding those hard conversations ensures comfort. But that comfort is only short term. Confronting these conversations, that invites growth, and that is long lasting. The second thing to think about is you want to, in a conversation, define the terms that you're discussing. So if your partner says to you, you don't say I love you enough, a fair question would be, what is enough? Because you have to have reassurance that you guys are talking about the same thing, because most of the time, we're not. And taking a few minutes to clear that up is fair. This isn't something that only happens with family and in relationships. If your boss is talking to you about your performance at work, how does your boss define productivity? That's a valid question. Again, you want to make sure that you're talking about the same thing. Uh, and you just think about how easily that could be remedied. The third thing is try to replace any judgment that you may have or that you may have come to the conversation with, with curiosity. And if we can communicate with someone in a calm, curious tone, we're going to get a lot further than we uh, ever will by stopping our feet and insisting that our way is the way. The fourth thing is, and this is hard for people to do, is to allow room for silence in a difficult conversation. It's not that people have run out of things to say. It's not that someone's stalling. Uh, but you want to use that time to process the information that you've learned, to consider your thoughts, and to formulate your next step, what you might want to say, something you might want the other person to consider. But you want to be respectful in communication. And all of these things together are going to make a hard conversation much more palatable. Thank you so much.